Welcome back to Pops and Islands. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as Finland with the new Lines of the North, I think. <laughs> DLC. Um, we are going for the Finnish line. We have to draw a contiguous Finnish owned line of land all the way. Now, I'm not going to do all the way. I can't even do all the way, but I, I'm also not going to. Uh, let's say this way. All the way to the Cape. <laughs> Oops, missed one. And so on and so on and so on. And we'll, until we end up down there. It's going to be a bit of an undertaking. Not going to lie. But first, we got to break free. And we got to not be annexed. <laughs> Which we are currently. Our overlord is feeling, uh, you know, I don't want to say generous. Now, I... I End of last episode, or sometime last episode, I discussed whether maybe taking Militech early would help with the relative power. Uh, and therefore give us a boost here. Wiki says it does not. Wiki says relative power only cares about numbers. And um, it scales from 100% where it gives you 75 points and then, you know, accordingly. So apparently we have 38.9% of the power and therefore we only get 29, which is slightly less than half of 75. Slightly less, somewhat less. Um, now I could try to do math here. Surely one could. Let's uh, bring up the yield calculator, which I haven't set up once again for you to see, unfortunately, but um, if I were to take um, the 29 we have right now divided by 6 for regiments, we get 4.8 points of liberty desire per regiment right now with uh, what the Swedes have. And um, we need another 23 points of liberty desire. So if I take 23 and divide by 4.8 roughly, we need about 4.8 or nine, well, 5 extra regiments to be libertarians enough for them <clears throat> to not be able to annex us anymore. That might actually be somewhat doable. Now, if we look here, we have one force limit left over. We're at 4.1. I'm just wondering whether development can get us over the hump, so to speak. Do we still have development to go for this? No, we didn't summon the diet. We didn't summon the diet because we felt like that would just be development options. But if we're doing development anyway, which I'm feeling like we might, might as well call that diet, eh? Sure. Not sure that's particularly smart. Uh, ideally, they want us to develop or capture they don't they want us to build a marketplace which i'd much rather do not that we have money but that might be just the thing we take anyway do we have the tech for marketplaces already we do and a marketplace in usima is it's not great <laughs> it's not great yikes um so that's not insanely tempting. Two clicks of admin development in Vipuri, which is probably super expensive as long as we're still a vassal. It is. Mm. And the burgers, what do you want? Oh, you want that marketplace. And the base manpower and Oster button. See, that's most likely something we're gonna do. It's still utterly, stupidly expensive. But I might actually go for that. What do we get for it? Manpower. Uh, I mean, yeah. We are at cap, but we're gonna spend some. Okay. Next year, the, the Danes are potentially possibly available. I think we're gonna lean into it right now. Let's just do it. I'm gonna take the manpower agenda here. I'm going to take Ostrobothnia to establish its own state. I'll encourage development there. Double check that that's actually where we need to develop it is. Put two clicks of mill into that one. Painful as it might be. 
and then hopefully remember to turn off the encounter department there eventually. We have institution spread going in Osima, but I'm tempted to swap that around. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we can't. That's unfortunate. When can we? In November. Okay, we can wait until November. That's fine. That is fine. Let's build that extra unit right now so we can make use of the extra manpower. And then... So, my goal is somewhat split. I want to increase our development so our force limit increases so we don't pay through the nose for extra units we build. I also want to increase our development so our liberty desire goes up from development and from relative economic power of vassals. That should double dip somewhat. And we should get this manpower even though it's over cap, but we're just not gaining right now. Well, no, we spent a thousand, so this is totally fine. Yeah, and we're still hoping, no Sweden, not at all. We're still hoping for this to become available to us. Really, really, really want that um, support in pens. If we get that, we're done. I mean, not done with the game or anything, but we're safe uh, with our little desire. And then we can find maybe some other friends and then stage revolution. But until we do get that, uh, we have to somehow make do. And we certainly do not have infinite funds available to us. <laughs> Partially because I spent a bunch of money re-rolling our Diplo advisors, trying to find a Diplo reputation guy. And uh, we didn't get lucky there. I think we spent like 60 or whatever. 60-ish ducats on that, which is huge for us. I mean, that's just, just ginormous. Um, can I? Yes, I can. Courage development in f the capital state of Finland. And we're going to plop some middle left down here. As much as it disgusts me. Now we should give a look. This has the slight advantage of um, spreading some renaissance, so we might be there a little faster too. I still hate doing it, but it might just be what we need to do here. Um, 6 out of 7, but we're building number 7. 4.6. Did like... I need to do a few more clicks. I definitely want to go up at least one more. Um, oh, the prices. The prices! Uh, at least one more of these. Whoops. One more click might do it. Uh, fast limit. Yeah. That gives us room for one more unit without paying for being over the limit. And I build that immediately. See what that does to our um, things. Our truce to the Toots has ended. Does that mean the Danish one? No, they were pieced out earlier, right? Yeah. The Danes still have a truce. Still like to see the Toots. Ah, but they're. No, the Silverunians. The Toots. I mean, I guess technically there's still Toots around. <laughs> Technically, but not really. 36? Weren't we at 38 before? Maybe I... I feel like we went up to 38 when I did the development, but that might just be wrong. But I mean, things change, right? The day Swedes might be building armies, so they're not right, though they're not right now. Which is very good for us. I mean, that might be our one saving grace here, potentially, possibly. Okay, extra units there, 30. That did not do much at all. See, I don't get this number. There must be something else going into the army power of all vassals to Sweden thing. Because certainly 8 is not 49.2% of 10. There's no army hiding from us, it's these 10. They still have sucky Militex, so it's definitely not that. It could be that general or that counts for something. But I thought the wiki said there's nothing. If you see my map moving around, it's because I moved my mouse out of the window. Pop over to Chrome, EU4. Uh, what are we talking about? It's um, Liberty Desire. Not Liberty Desire, cheat. I'm not looking to cheat here, game. I will never be looking to cheat. Asterisk. Liberty desire. Yada, 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 yada. 
Relative army size of the subject compared to its overlord. There is plus 75 liberty desire for having 100% of the overlord's forces. Scaling proportionately, e.g. 37.5 at 50%. Okay, we should see around about 37.5 here, yeah, because we're slightly below 50 according to their math. Um, so... That is... That part of the uh, calculation is correct. The combi combined strength of all vassals, marches, and clients says is used for their liberty desire. Yeah, it's just us. Uh, personal union partners consider the individual. Additionally, nations allied with or supporting the liberty of a subject will have the army strength added to that specific subject. Yeah, okay, but why? Is 8 only 50% of 10 then? That makes no sense. I mean, there are tons of other modifiers to liberty desire, but that's all the modifiers listed in the wiki um, for army size as part of liberty desire. So, by all rights and purposes, we should have 80% of 75 points. Which, you know, math, 25 times 0 0.8 is 60. Should have 60 liberty desire from our army power alone if the wiki was correct. Instead, we have 36.9. How's that? Hmm. What if we. Is it accounting for both? Is it counting us as part of our overlords? army. <laughs> That'd be bad, because, I mean, if they go to war, we get recruited, right? Um, so if we're looking at 18, and we have 8 out of 18, it would be 44%. That's not quite right either. It's closer, but not quite right either. Huh. And I think we did find out that increasing or paying for the troops Morale does not help. Can't possibly be tech. Hmm. The wiki must be wrong, right? I'm not seeing how possibly this could happen if the wiki's calculation is correct. This relative army power is just calculated in a way that I don't understand. How is it 36.9? What happens if I make my king a general? I'm not actually going to put him on there. I think the death checks only happen when leading an army. The extra death checks. I'm just going to click this button and see what happens. 39. Have a general. Still 39. I will assign him, but not for long. 39. I'm pausing wait a month. Actually giving us one death check, I guess. No, that's not it. I mean, it's a nice general. Definitely gonna be useful to have him around when we declare that war. If we are able to declare that war. But I don't understand how this is what happens. Again, we tried increasing army payment, right? That didn't fix whatever it's called. Oh, you would do it. Oh, oh, when? When? December. Please, please, please don't pick up an ally by then. Let's get... Wait a few months and then that get that opinion into ship shape. Absolute ship shape. When did I say December? It took me like a second to forget it. Yeah. December. Must be going to war against Novgorod again, uh, just taking away all the options to expand there. Admin tech was minus 10%. How close are we to admin tech? We have no admin tech, or no admin money. So, kinda not close. <laughs> kinda not that close. I don't understand this number, it confuses the ever living heck out of me. England declared one Cornwall for reconquest. I mean, I get it. I get it. If you have friends, uh, no. Desmond. 
Legitimacy. Actually, yes. Been squandering that a little. I see potential possibilities at the horizon. Yes, please to stay potential potential possibility. Italian wars. Welcome to Italy. So that's your favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. Have we seen that before? Uh, oh, improved radiation drops down yearly, right? So we can just put that tick in there right now. Just get it done to essentially cap. Is there music? I feel like there's no music. What's my music at? No, oh, no, it's coming. It's just very, very quiet. I mean, I've turned it down a lot. So you can hear me. Math. Who gets it? August. Come on, Eileen. How are you doing? You still only hit the poles. I don't know if the Danes are enough. Not as long as this unholy alliance stands. Is there a British-Polish alliance? I don't think so, right? No. Unfortunately, means that we're not going to get lucky and have a, well, probably not going to get lucky have Britain or England and the Poles both busy at war. So we can munch on the, on the sweet so hearts desire. Come on. Almost there. Almost. Now, you could claim that it wasn't necessary then to spend all that development and uh, increase our army size, but that's part of this opinion modifier here. I mean, it might still not. Ooh, look at that go down. Look at that happen. Um, it's kind of close. So, those points might have mattered. Wait, 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 wait. Why can I not do it? December. It is December. Might not be the December. Or do I just need to reopen this? No. Now, surely, don't call me Shirley. Wait, did I mistake the year? I did mistake the year. Wait, 65? When is this finishing? Okay, got slower anyway. And it's. I don't think it was 65. I must have just. Yeah. With all my excitement, I uh, missed that we were off it by a year. Fine. Not fine at all. This could swap over any day now. 28. What is the thing that's going down so much? 10, 9, 7, 4, 26, 2. I'm never going to remember that. But I think it was the positives that went down. Might be the Danish opinion because... Um, whoa. Oh, I looked at the wrong thing. Um... Got scornful insight dropped a bit. Weird that it would be that much. But if absolutely necessary, we can pop up another scornful insult. That'll be kind of okay. Our Finnish army strength. I feel like that modifier was is worse now than it was before. Did you tech up? You did tech up. Hmm. Rude. We might find ourselves in a position where it just barely doesn't work out in December, and I would be very, very sad about that. I and mean, then we just black like, build a unit or something. Hopefully, that'll be fine. Oh, of course, the timer you end up because we did all that development. That's uh, <laughs> reasonable. It's not just for getting over the hump, it just makes it harder to annex us anyway. May. How are you feeling? Uh, again, we might just as well uh, top them up. Because it will only end at the end of the year. And this time, December will be the correct December, hopefully. Whoa. They allied freaking Friesland. Friesland. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> Considering that this is a game where nothing happens at all, I am on the edge of my seat, figuratively speaking. Oh, speaking of figuratively speaking, uh, it's nothing to do with it. Let's turn off this edict. And 
Do I want to swap this edict around? Just turn it off. I'm just going to turn it off. Because that still allows me to turn another one on. And we may have to do development again. Hmm. We just might. How's that institution looking? Eh. Nay, great. It should be. Oh, it's still not here. Have you not embraced it yet? You haven't. Not that we have any money to embrace institutions right now. So we shouldn't be looking too deeply into that. Okay, how do we get you or what happened now? Finish army strength went down to minus 16 and my navy strength to minus 10. And you don't trust me? Why didn't my strength drop so much? Just tech? If it's tech, it's kind of okay because we can tech next year. It'll be fine. But I'm afraid. We were so close. We were so close and that was the wrong December. Oh, two days left. Um, Maybe I do take that click. Yeah, I pay 10% extra for 4% innovativeness. Let's do it. Does that hit our modifier here? It does. Okay, we're now quite close again. Oh, and it popped up our liberty desire. So it does count. So the wiki is just wrong. Relative army power does take into account technology. Okay. Okay. Anybody else close to saying yes? <laughs> no. Because nobody cares about the Swedes. I mean, who does? Why would anybody? So how do we get you over this hump? Now, there's gonna be a slight down taken war was at war, and then we can scornful inside again to get that to what's that? 150. But opinion is not gonna be quite enough if you don't flip to loving us. Now I assume we still oops, cancel. I assume we still don't have a yeah, no good advice available. It takes a long while for these to die off if you don't fire them manually, and I really don't wanna. Um, going up in military power might be a way, though. Maybe it's the way we should take right now. Go slightly over force limit. Have some money. See if one is enough. Go back to bring you up to absolute top snuff. If you aren't yet. Did I do this this year already? I think I did. England doing their conquest of the Irish. Yes, they do. Unfortunately, not very useful for us. Get me that extra unit. There's that extra unit. How do you feel? Utterly and utterly close. So if we go one higher, we've got it. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, but we're making money. I mean... We're not paying our army, it's part of it, but let's do one more. Truce is ended, and surely, once that unit is built, in a few days, this will pop to hooray. Now we're gonna get a tiny drop down, so I'm gonna do one more improve relations. It's generally, it's fully improved. Okay, good, recall. And we drop down again because of the opinion. Whoa! I absolutely want that guy. But I want him after. I don't know if prestige or legitimacy go into this in any way, shape, or form. But I want the Danish thing dealt with before. There we go. That if generally we can send a guy support independence, please do. <laughs> so there's 100 Liberty Desire. Save now, for now. Save now, for now, yes. I did fulfill our race or army mission, which... Are we gonna pop that? I mean, I like those claims. And we get the mercenary company that does not cost army professionalism when hired, okay. 
No, I don't think we need to click it just yet. We're going to have liberty desire for a while. It'll be fine. As long as our military advisor doesn't die. Okay. I think now I just take the hundred tradition general. At the cost of everything here. <laughs> nice. Um, the lack of prestige will also drop down our um, legitimacy even more. Which is not great. If I do say so myself. <laughs> nice again. Um, nope. Not raising the army just yet. I mean I did. But I didn't. Government reform, what do you have for me? Bureaucracy? Dang it. Global prosperity growth, loyalty equilibrium down, which we could fix. Death cost minus five. It's okay. Centralizing a state will refund its costs. What does that mean? Centralizing a state will refund its cost. So there's a button. Centralized state. Oh, so it takes five years. It takes the cost until it's done. But when it's done, you get it back. Okay. Okay. State governing cost down. State maintenance down. Local prosperity growth up. Forever. Or well, during those five years. So it's viral? Hmm. Who knows? Ah, what are our alternatives? Decentralized bureaucracy. Uh, da, da, da. Promoted cultures, moving on to many territories. We don't care at all right now. No, no, no. That's not it. Uh, more possible advisors. That might give us that dip guy, but otherwise. Hmm. Reform progress reform progress growth is nice, but it's overall kind of weak. Cheaper advisors, slightly cheaper. Slightly reduced loyalty loss from seizing crownland by normal calling the die at eh? Yeah, might be good for us, but kind of meh. Eight unique state edicts. edicts. I don't know what this means. Change more things than I, than I thought. What's it called? E4 regional councils. Regional. So let's get ready to get light by the wiki again. Come on, light me, wiki. Do something. Do just. Do just do nothing. Uh, no. E for regional. Not regency council. Regional council. <laughs> this is not easy to search for. Dev Diary. Regional Councils. Seem too weak. Hmm. Okay. It, it's not helpful. The internet is not helpful. Um, anybody surprised? Passes and marches. Diplomatic relations, as of course, no. This is all. We might just be going with the centralized bureaucracy. Even without the refunding of the central thing, it's kind of fine. We can fix the loyalty equilibrium. Yeah. Let's do it. We get that prost growth. All right. Uh, equilibrium 46, equilibrium uh, 53 is still fine, and the burgers are probably a terrible 47. So we kind of want to give the merchants and the burgers a little something something. Not looking for that. Not running a dip advisor, and it's always dangerous to give the burgers a bunch of influence so I'm not utterly in love with this I'm kind of tempted actually by patronage of the arts just so we fix our prestige problem it's weird because it's gonna fix itself and we're gonna pay a lot of money for it though I don't want to take a loan just yet 
do not want control of monetary policy. Hmm. Okay, so the options aren't really there. I think it's just five percent tax modifier. Oh, it's tr no, it's, that's trade. That was tax somewhere right here. Yeah, I don't love it. But I think we're gonna actually go with that. And have our prestige not be negative and not have our legitimacy drop down to nothing. And then the clergy were the other ones. They just grant them oversight. Doesn't really cost me anything. Um, I mean, we don't care about 20. Every province, Catholic. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's just 10% production efficiency, 10% tax, 10% manpower for us right now. We're slightly annoying later, but we kind of want to convert anyway. I mean, our missions push us there. Or we go for this thing, which makes everybody like us a little more. Hmm. 20% is so much. But it's almost into the danger zone already. But not really. I think I am gonna go with the religious culture. There. Bam. Okay. Yearly paper influence plus one. That's kinda good. Now, where were we? We have support for independence. I assume this still doesn't look great. The Scots are not gonna come in. <laughs> but the numbers, uh, they don't quite speak for themselves yet. The Danes are weak. Danes are very weak. Which might be the reason why we even got this to work, right? But 20k, it's not a lot. <laughs> it's not a lot. If these Brits and the Polish, especially the Polish weren't, the Brits might even be a thing that the Danes can deal with. We saw that they didn't last time. Not very, very well, but that's a maybe. But the Poles were just march into Finland and eat us up. Muscovy ate almost all of Novgorod. Not quite all of it. Now, surely now that you have a border to the Swedes, you're going to find it in your heart to hate the Swedes. Again, they might be too small to... Oh, no, 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 there we go. Why can we not? Because they don't like us. Or oh, we don't like them. That I hate, obviously. Declare one on our neighbor is what we don't like it and the aggressive expansion. Is there a way you can do a mutual, mutual thing that makes us love each other more? Like marry you, maybe. Nay. Maybe. If I, I mean, I already did a lot of relations there. That's not really gonna help, is it? That's such an annoying part, right? It's not because they don't like me; it's because I apparently don't like them. I don't mind a Muscovite. I want a Muscovite friend. So, if my best friends are not Muscovites, unfortunately, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take the sea shit here. Just <laughs> this. It's so rare that this number matters for the player, but when it does, it's infuriating. That's the kind of help we need. If we get Muscovy and the Danes in, I think we can probably handle the Poles. Here comes Sweden, yoinking poor, poor Novgorod. Um, game, I still don't want to pay for my army though. I'm afraid for my army. Um, I'm gonna try and hide them in Orbo. So random Novgorod stacks don't come in and eat them. Or heat them, whatever you do these days. Okay, you eat people. Uh, you also don't need to hide at war. I don't think the Novgorod Navy is any threat anymore. At least not in the Baltic. Uh, what's all this then? Buy a base tax for 12 ducats. Yeah, I'll do it. Even though it means burger influence. 
No, we can't have that. Are you gonna feed? No, you're not gonna feed Korea to me because you now have a border. Shame. It'd be kind of nice if they did. Okay, I can ask now. Because we hate him, but we love him. Wait, could I have just said that? Because you can manually set the attitude. Could I have just set myself to friendly and then do this? If so, that's even worse. <laughs> Why? Why would that be a thing? Jeebus. All right. We got the Muscovite, we got the Swede, uh, the, the Dane. We can't declare war right now. I don't... Oh, we can. No, we can't. We could, maybe. Good relations, but that we can fix. How do numbers look? Fair-ish. I mean, there's a bunch more horses on the other side. But... The Brits are the Brits, right? Okay, 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 okay. Step one, get our in six siege? Good lord! <laughs> That's a hundred tradition general for you. Wow. I can declare independence while I'm at war on their side? That's true, and it's not just telling me. Uh, not telling. It's just not telling me right now because there's another reason I can't. Then that's funky. No, no, I totally can. Hey Sweden, you stink. I can't insult them? Oh, I can, but not for a long time. How did our relations fuck up so much? We had war together, it's 25. Hmm. What happens if I tell you that I want all you can't do that? Hmm. Can do that. Yeah, but I can't. Is there any way I can annoy the sweets right now? Maybe by privateering them for a moment? What happens if I privateer here? Privateer the Baltic. Not for long, I just wanna reduce my relations to these folks. Ah wait, no, privateer ignores your allies, isn't it? Let's wait a monthly take, but I think it's not gonna work. We may have to take the extra stab hit, which obviously nobody around here can want, you know, it's not helping. Uh, go back to protecting trade in the Baltic. But probably also go to port. At least soon. So my thinking is I want to be ready to fudge up the Swedish army. Unfortunately, everything around here is forest. So that might not quite work. <laughs> But I'm not super afraid of the Swedes um, attacking into this army and killing them. Obviously, if we could get over to Stockholm. Are these guys gonna get... Hmm. Let's get down here again. I wonder if I can pick up a one stack when we declare that war. Or if these just get black flagged. Come home from the Muscovite. So let this war declaration again. It's gonna work. We've got relations. Waiting for the... So we could... And we should definitely consider that now. We can wait for the Novgorodian war to end. It's not gonna be that long. They might stand down their troops. We're not gonna get to snipe them here anyway. And then we're gonna drop 25 relations and probably be okay. That has to be better. Um, do I stop paying my army for a moment then? Yeah, I think I do, because we don't have any money. Sorry, guys. Back to your barracks. <laughs> for now. Not for long, though. It just feels like a waste 
of um, admin points to do this now. So let them get attrition up here. I kind of like that they're busy, right? That's that's nice. But I think... Wait, Norway? Are you independent, Norway? You are? How did you become independent? Uh, I want you on my side too, I think. Do you have troops? Four. Do you have boats? Five. <laughs> it's not going to be a huge help. But it's at least going to be a distraction, right? And then if they get separate pieces out of the war, that's kind of okay. I'll, I'll go with that, sure. How's your siege looking? Not that great just yet. So I'm kind of relying on the... The Muscovite mustering faster... Than... The Polish. That would be nice. And ideally also protecting my land. Because I really don't want to deal with the Polish army. That would be uh, not to my liking. Are we finally going to get that institution from... No. <laughs> Probably going to get it from uh, Moscow, Muscovy rather than from the Swedes at some point. We're going to have the Muscovite fleet on our side actually, which would be nice. I lose my corn island. Uh, wait. No. Request. I request Red Flash of Ireland. And I just get it? <laughs> sure! I even spit. Wait. It did say core, right? It didn't say claim, it said core. If I had a core, why do I need to core it now? Confused. Hashtag confused. We need to not forget to click that button too before we declare war. Not just for the 15%, but also for all those claims. And potentially possibly even mercs. Okay, this looks like it's getting towards an end. I'm gonna give it one more siege tick there. Sure. I'm gonna go up in the in the mining department again. In the paying our troops department. Oh. <laughs> I'm also... I, I promise I didn't do this as an intentional cliffhanger. I'm gonna put a cut in here. Because we're 42 minutes in. Uh, I briefly considered making uh, this into two episodes. But no, let's not do that. That doesn't help you. Because you'd still have to wait until tomorrow for the for the actual war. And there would be less of a war in that episode. So no. Uh, we're gonna put that cut in here. We're almost ready to declare our independence. Uh, I uh, would like to thank you so much for watching and also supporting my independence Norway. Thank you very much. Um, if you enjoy what you're seeing, then I mean, it's kind of easy to know. I don't need to tell you what to do, but I will still do it. Um, please, please, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And if you have anything at all to say, do just that down there in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you folks next time.